Hey everybody, this is Nick Dean Lyon now here for the 17th and uh, final part of the main part of my playthrough of Crimson Forgotten Land. Yes, that's right folks, uh, in this video I think I'm going to hopefully try to beat the actual main part of the game. So let's hope that actually goes well and uh, let's see what happens. So uh, for the second to last main level here we got Gathering of the Beast Council. From what I remember this level is like basically just basically like a bunch of boss fights. So yeah, it should be pretty interesting for sure. Um, and of course, you will get a lot of abilities throughout your journey, so uh, take advantage of those whenever you can. And uh, yeah, honestly, this, this level is actually pretty cool. I do like it. It is kind of a bit frustrating, especially if uh, you know you don't really remember what to do in some of these boss fights. But it is a lot of fun to just kind of go through all these bosses again. So let's go back to Gormando and see what happens. That was kind of a pretty good hitting gun, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna let it put it down. With that, Gormando's done. I do believe, like, all the boss fights have, like, different objectives, too. Keep that in mind. Alright. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, like, the Waddle Dees in this particular level are, like, based on, like, specific completions of some of the boss fights, so. Do bear that in mind if you, uh, want to go for 100% completion in this game. And I'm probably gonna mess this up because, uh, I saw there was, like, several shortcuts I really did not take advantage of. And that hurt me. There we go, there's our first Tin of Waddle D. And we still got quite a bit to go. Alright, increase our health a little bit. Now I'm actually gonna try doing the fire ability because you know you guys know how much I like the fire ability. And how OP as shit it is. And we gotta face silly Dillo again. Oh boy. You guys kinda remember how much I uh, hated fighting this guy. He's a, little, he's a little bit more bearable here, but he's uh still not exactly my favorite. But uh at least uh, this is kinda like a more toned down version, I guess you could say. I hear a hidden Waddle D in the background, you know what that means. Okay. Alright, watch out for those. Shoot, come on. No, no, come on, get out! Alright, we got him now. We're all good to go. Oh, hi, I already got one of the other, other objectives, too. But defeat him in a minute and 30. Nice, I'll have to, oh, not to worry about that. But the silly devil anymore. And I got the second hint of Waddle D. Alright. So, yeah, this level really is honestly really cool. I like the amount of different phases it has, and like all these things, you know what? Uh, foes you really will encounter here. It's kind of like a mini version of like the little uh, boss rush, e rush extra that you get later on, you see like later on the main Waddle D town. I'm not going to get too much into it of course because that'll still be like a later extra video, but either way it is really cool. Alright, and I hear some Waddle D. We 
He's obviously around here somewhere. Hmm. Probably something I have to look for. Aw, oh, damn it, I missed it, didn't I? Crap. Well, whatever it was I had to do... You know what? Let me actually try that. See if I can do it better this time. Obviously, if I have to get it at a later date, it's no big deal. You know, it's not like, uh... I have to do, like, literally everything now at once, but... It still would be nice to at least try. Dude, come on! See if I can make that lower one there. Okay. Yeah, I jumped way too early there. That time I just didn't jump at all. Why do I keep jumping too early? What the hell? Okay. Now let's go down here. Okay. Now we got him. Third hit in Waddle D. Ah, I lost my fire ability. Well, it's okay. There's still several other things I can do. Meantime, I'll get the floor tornado, because that could definitely come in handy, I think, for the next boss. Yep. Here we are about to crawl. Ah. Uh, claw rolling. Well, I can't ever announce things. Okay? Come on now. Keep everything together here. Obviously, if there wasn't a jet there, I didn't get it quite yet, but I can certainly get it at a later point in time. Alright. Really gotta stand top of everything. Oh, I just noticed a switch. I gotta get that switch. Okay. Well, there's another one. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this part actually because if I remember correctly, this was actually, this was actually a part I was uh, struggling, struggling to get for like my first point for the game, just because I didn't really pay attention to like where all the switches were. I almost missed out on that to say that. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. I got all of them, and there's just one more. I'm pretty sure there was none I missed, so I should be good to go. Yep. And I got... Okay, well, I missed one of the Hidden Waddle Dees, but at least it's only one. And with that, that's gonna be trouble. Like I said, honestly, a pretty fun one to go through. Or at least I personally think so. So, yeah, we got four of the five Hidden Waddle Dees, and plus we defeated uh, Silly Bill in a minute and 30 seconds. And one of them is also Venture Deep into the Secret Passage, so yeah. We don't actually have much to do in this level, which is good to see. Obviously, the less I have to worry about later on, the better. Alright. Here we go. The Beast Pack's final stand. 
This is the final main level of the game. But I, before I actually check it out, though, I believe there is. Yep, there's going to be some more triggers I have to do. So let's go ahead and check these out. Okay, well, it looks like one of them I can't do. Uh, this one right here. This other one, though, I can probably get done the cone mouth uh, treasure. Like I said, I'll come back for these other ones later on. Alright. So, yeah, basically for this one, you just gotta find uh, all the entrances and, uh, you know, spike down accordingly. actually going pretty well. Sweet! Alright. A few seconds out the target time, but that's alright. Probably actually could get it this next time around, just because, you know, that was, I was so close the first time. Let's go back and see if I can. I might have actually had a first try if I just remembered to do this, like, right away, instead of, like, you know, uh, being like, uh, what do I do? Okay. And, of course, obviously, going up faster throughout the entire course of the level helps, too, and if I don't... I'm not gonna make one-headed mistakes like that. That could also certainly help. Alright. Okay, we got the first water spell. This is going very well. Okay. See if I can like jump halfway. Yep. Okay. Wait for about. All right. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get during the time actually, but yeah, I'll come somewhat close. Oh, actually, I just barely missed it. Damn it. Uh, if I would have gone just a little bit uh, faster in one of those sections, I could have had it easily. Alright, you know what? I'll actually give it one more try just because I was so dang close. Alright. Let's do everything right the first time. That's really gonna be the key here. Just doing everything right. Okay. If I don't get it this time, I'll move on, but I still want to try it at least one more time just because of how close I freaking was last time, like, my god. Okay. I can do it that early. Wow. I don't know, it seems like I'm kind of on the same pace as I was the last time, which is not exactly great if I want to get the target time. Could be wrong, but it feels that Why well, didn't I mean to do that? Okay, actually, no, I got it. Sweet. All right. I don't know why I was dooming there then. Because, yeah, I actually got it pretty handily that time. All right, then. 
Better target time down. Haven't gotten that many of them, but I'm glad that one of them I did get was in the last world. Alright. Well, no, no, no. Did not mean to go there. Alright. Well, now that that's done, let's go ahead and uh, check our final stand here, folks, aka the Beast Pack's final stand. So, yeah, this is the final, like I said, the final main world of the game. And from what I remember, it, uh, it certainly can be a bit confusing. Hopefully I won't have much trouble today, but uh, we'll see what happens. But I do remember this final level did kind of trip me up a little bit, like the first time I did it. And this is only my second time, so there could still be some leftover uh, confusion, but hopefully I can manage to get through it all the same. Oh yeah. Not mean to swallow that hammer, but oh well. Can't really hurt too much, I guess. The only problem is just the f oh wow! I got one of the waddle dees waddle away. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, the only problem is just the fact that uh, you know it's the weaker of the hammer upgrades, so. not going to be quite as strong as doing damage to some enemies as like the other hammer upgrade would, but, you know, that kind of goes without saying. Okay. Gotta be smart and meticulous here. Oh, and I hear something. Oh. Alright, first hit in Waddle D. Damn it! Crystal Needle. Haven't had dealt with this in a while, and uh, I quite like it. Alright. could I possibly need? Why? It really couldn't be a freaking uh, thing that we used to clean up other shit in the past. But wherever shall that be? Fuck, where, where did I go? Sorry about that, I completely lost fucking track of what happened there. Oh man. Yeah, this is uh, not going too well. Admittedly, my mistakes though were kind of a bit dumb. Shouldn't really be making them. Okay, there's the water spot I was looking for. Okay. Now I just gotta clean that guy off. Yeah, right here, this is basically just like a bunch of trial and error. All 
Alright. There's our second hint of Waddle D. Okay, yeah, I think this for some reason was where I was getting confused last time. If I remember correctly, that's the particular section of the level. Might have just been something about it, I don't remember. Okay. Here's some kind of hidden waddle dee somewhere. Where could it be though? I don't know why I thought I could fall that shit, by the way. I guess I'm just like so what? Uh, so what? Uh, I guess you can see like embellishing the games of Canada at this point to where I kind of stuck in a small one even. But, uh, doesn't quite work like that. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh, it's good. We are still good. Oh, yeah. We're in Waddle D. I got the floor tornado. I got a third of water poster too. I didn't realize that. That was just pure luck really right there that I was able to get that third one. Okay. Okay, I didn't see another hand of Waddle D. But uh evidently I'll have to do some things for it. Yeah, this level kind of really is just like an amalgamation of like all the basic mechanics and concepts in the entire game, like all the I'm using like a lot of the enemy to see the game right here. Uh, all the like various uh, level gimmicks. It's really just like everything combined into one. Okay. So yeah, we have to find a way to open up that uh, particular part of the level, but that. Uh, a bit smart about it. Him. Oh yeah, look at that. Plow through it. And there we go. Four Fanny Waddle D gotten. I might actually hit all of them on the first go around if I uh, keep up my uh, momentum here. We'll see though. And see, look, we got another one of these flying sections. Sessions. Oh my goodness. Although, first we got uh, enemies.
All right. It is still okay. Sorry, guys. Just one second. Summer, really quick. Ah. Oh. For some reason, my microphone was turned off for a second. I don't know why, but I was basically saying that for a minute that I was timing everything really well. But obviously, I did not there because I fucking missed that one. Okay. All right. And I think that's the final hit in Waddle D. I got all five of them. Sweet. Nice that I actually did that. Did that on like the very last main level of the game. Never would have thought I would have seen that. All right. And we, for this, we kind of return back to the very first uh, world of the game when we had that, uh, you know, a gimmick uh, at the start where we had to, like, you know, use the cone to uh, get that guy. So obviously there's got to be a cone around here somewhere or something similar. And there it is. And I also see another... If I don't fucking die, I see another, uh, poster. Okay. Ah, uh, let's just use this one. Alright. Gotta be careful here. All right, now I gotta get up here. For some reason, I was, uh, having a bit of trouble with the start. Okay. What the? God damn. Alright. And there we go! Well, with that, we've officially finished all the main levels in Current of Forgotten Land. At least in terms of, like, just basic completion. Like, obviously, I've still got to go back for worlds 5 and 6 and get the Waddle Dees I, uh, missed, which luckily, uh, for this particular level, there aren't a lot. But, uh, aside from that, uh, yeah. As far as, like, just basic completion, uh, all the main levels are done now. But of course, uh, and this is true of any game, no main world uh, or stage would be, com no great game would be complete without a uh, proper finale. And so, we get our final boss. It'd be funny if I actually had just enough Waddle Dees to get there, because that's what it feels like. Oh, I still got two more challenges to do, though. Possibly, of course, more if I wanted to, uh, search around. Okay, yeah, it turned out that I actually had just two more than the minimum I needed to, uh, 
unlock that, so that, so I kind of got lucky there, I'll fully admit. Okay, ring mouth. And then, what's that other one? Looks like one I can't do. Yeah, storm tornado. Alright. So I'll do a ring mouth. Like I said, I'll go back and do a lot of these uh, treasures uh, probably in my backtracking video. It's gonna be a long backtracking video, my god, but whatever. Uh, that's to worry about later. Okay. So yeah, this means just you just gotta use the ring mouth to get to the end, and the turn time is only a minute long. So uh you're good at the ring mouth, there shouldn't really be much of a uh, much of a stress. Come on now. go. Was about 12 seconds off there. But I'll give it another try. Let's do this. There we go. I think I'm probably gonna be like just short of it. Like I'll be close, but not quite enough. Is what I'm guessing. Yeah. That was like what I think like a minute and two, I believe. Oh no, a minute and one. So I was actually even closer than I predicted. Yeah. Oh well. I could try it a third time, but I mean, uh, I kind of just want to show off the uh, final level now. So really, or, or should, I guess I should say the final boss. Or wait a minute. I'm not beginning this level confused, actually. If I am, I bad. Just, yeah, I think there's like. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, no. Never mind. I was not getting you confused. Uh, I only say that because the only one I remember, like, usually at the, uh, from the heart is, like, the very, very final boss of this level. But yeah, basically what this level is, it's, like, another, it's another level is, like, an amalgamation of boss fights. So this is, like, a stronger, uh, King Dedede, for example. So, yeah. Like I said, these final bosses, as you would expect, they really pull no punches, so, uh, you really gotta know what, you know what you're doing. Okay. 
này Getting angry. Not that it really. Oh, here's the second phase. Tornadoes, and you can pretty much just like keep using it like over and over again, and you can like constantly, consistently get attacks. Although I didn't really get any there, so uh, it's definitely a good one for uh, situations like these. Kind of helps like uh, negate the uh, negative effects of uh, more powerful attacks like those. There we go. That's the first one down. Actually, yeah, my initial answer was correct. This is uh, this, this is not the level I was thinking of. It's just like the pre, the, the, I guess you could say the prelude. This is what I was really thinking of. Oh no. No. Lab Discoverer. I probably butchered that. Automatic language detection activated. Authentication system activated. Authenticating. Authenticating. Entry code approved. Initiating facility navigation protocol. Welcome visitors to the Dream Discoveries Tour of our science facility, Lab Discovera. Okay, yeah, uh, actually now is basically correct. On this tour, you'll be introduced to the ultimate life form, specimen ID... The ultimate life form. I know this game is a shout the hedgehog, but uh, for some reason that made me think of that. It began a campaign of destruction that threatens the native wildlife of our entire world. Luckily, our research team managed to capture it before it could complete its invasion. Once it was contained, our lab began studying IDF-86's spatial teleportation ability. Research that laid the groundwork for the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. Look at all those Waddle Dees working out. However, 
30 years after our research began. A warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. Say what? A new life form separated from the main specimen escaped in the aftermath. Oh no! That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal Capsule here on the top level of Lab Discoverer. And here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, Specimen IDF-86. All right, so you know what? I could just cheese this and use the fire. In fact, actually, I was almost doing that. But uh, I'm actually going to try out... Let's try out the drill. If things, like, go really bad for me, then, then maybe I might I just resort to using the cheap fire. But that's, like, only going to be as a last resort. But, yeah. Crazy things up ahead, guys. Take a good look, Pink Intruder. Isn't this a beautiful sight? You're not even seeing the Great One in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. Long ago, the Great One granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered the land of dreams. Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power. We, the ones they left behind in this forgotten land. And now, the time has finally come. Damn right it has. That's right, this small creature here is the Great One's missing half. Finally, after all our planning and effort, we can help the Great One reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years. If you dare to stand in our way, we'll feast on your hide! Okay, I apologize for that. I realize my voice is terrible, but I uh, haven't really got a chance to do st st stuff like that all uh, play through, so. You know what, I might as well just have some fun, so. If that was uh, cringe, guys, I apologize, but, uh, like I said, I really did not get the chance to really do much, you know, fun stuff like that for this point, so. I figured I might as well just, you know, kind of, uh, humor it now, I guess. Alright. Leon Gar, King of the Beasts. Alright, so let's see how this actually works. Yeah, actually, the drill wasn't a bad one for this particular uh, fight, or at least the variation of it. Alright. I probably should be like. Aiming more at it, like, directly, I guess. Okay. Like a lot of smoke. Huh? Like the game kind of lagged a little bit there. 
I guess it kind of makes sense there's a lot of action on the screen right now, but still. It was definitely noticeable. At least on my end. Here we go. Come on, just one more hit. One more hit and we got this. There we go. I admit I probably overcomplicated that a little bit, but nonetheless, we got it done. Sayonara, Leongar. All right. We rescued our friend. We. You, you dare. Plan ruined. Important plan. Needed labor. Opened vortex. Found workforce. Brought here. And yet, error made. Irksome. Pink containment. Careful planning. Now wasted. No more planning. No more patience. Instead... Everything shall be... Sh sorry. Everything shall be consumed. Oh, lordy. There's all our, a lot of the enemies you can hunt throughout the game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Look at that thing. Okay. Yeah, I know. Whoop. Factile Forgo. This particular boss, I actually kind of forgot how to fight it. I know it wasn't really that hard, but... There was, like, a specific move I needed to do, and I kind of forgot about it. Shit, I gotta be careful, though, because, uh... Kind of running out of health here. Right. Uh oh, I think I'm about to die. Yep. Damn it. Oh well. Should at least just restore me where the boss is. Yeah. All right. I wonder if Homing Bomb could actually be good for this. Let's try it out, at least. I'll skip this now. It certainly does, uh, at least work when, uh... pretty far away and you have like no other method to really attack it.
Um, Actually, yeah, the shocking cutter is really good for this. I should have just gone with that one. Okay, yeah, look how much damage I'm doing with just the shocking cutter alone. Okay, there we go. Oh no, he's getting swallowed up! <laughs> Alright. Here are the, uh, the quiet noise. Now might be a good time for Dragon Fire. Or at least we could try it out. But yeah, basically for this one we can use like pretty much like literally all the abilities. Alright. And we made it, folks. This is it. The for real final boss of the main game. Facto Alphalus. And it's the ultimate life form. Alright. So yeah, this uh this boss, uh, from what I remember, is uh, kinda tricky. But hey, given the fact that it's like I said the final main boss of the game, it's uh really not too unexpected. But yeah, you really gotta regard it. And I think from what I remember, this, she can actually even like replenish her health too, so uh, you really gotta make sure you're, you're getting a lot of good hits in there like all times or else uh, it can take a very long time for you to beat that like, boss if you haven't like that uh, all of you die. I got her pretty good that two, uh, uh, there though. I just need to have another round like that. And I think this is definitely one of those, uh, one of the boss fights where, uh, this, the warp stars will definitely come in handy. You can, like, run and utilize them! Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I fired them in the wrong direction! Come on, now. God damn! Okay, gotta be careful! Okay. Oh boy, this is where it gets all the more tough. God, the freaking meteors. Okay. Oh boy. See, this is what I was talking about. Uh, 
Her own health can be replenished. So even though it looked like I had gone a lot, there actually is still quite a bit of it to do. Yeah, I'm literally about to die. I'm gonna have to do this again. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a little bit. Because this is the final boss, I am gonna allow for more uh, space here. So, like, let's say if uh, I still don't have this by, like, uh... I'll try to crystal needle this time, by the way. If I still don't have this by uh, attempt number five, I'll just cut to my successful attempt. All right. could be helpful if I uh, get these warp stars too. In fact, that's really what I should be doing. Alright. The main thing I do like about uh, the Crystal Needle is the fact that uh, it definitely helps dodge a lot of attacks. Plus, uh, you know, it's a really great... Uh, Power up ability for uh, like leeching onto those warp stars. So I feel like for the final boss of this game, can really do it, honestly. Although I kind of really it right there. All right. Dead again. So yeah, really the thing is, you don't want to take a whole lot of damage early on, or else uh, you're kind of screwed when it uh, when push comes to shove. All right. You know what? Let's try floor tornado. I really have no idea like what the best ability to use for this is, and I'm sure many people have like many different opinions, but. Uh, I feel like the three that I've tried are probably like, going to give me my best bet if I like, know how to utilize them correctly. Which evidently I'm not really doing. Yeah, this one kind of has a lot of the same perks as the uh, needle. But it also is uh, really one of those things where you 
really got to know what to do. So yeah, you can do a lot of damage pretty quickly with uh, the Thor Tornado, but there's also the problem that you know you still got to be aware of like everything else. But I feel like up everything I've tried, this could honestly be like what I need to do. So really, uh, give me my best shot of doing this. I'm sure like with any ability, it's you know, possible. I'm not like saying like you know, hey, you know, um, it's only possible to use these abilities. But I'm more so just like trying to argue like this, uh, like this, the fire and the clutter needle are like really your. Uh, Like that, uh, get it done as fast as possible, and also uh, like that, uh, minimize as much damage as possible. All right. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of good damage there. Nice. And I'm still in actually a pretty good spot heading into the second phase, so I could actually do it this time. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, so... For now, let's uh, try to stay quiet. Okay. Go like this. Alright, that worked. Dodge that. Can I dodge this? Yes, I can. Alright. Did I get hit there? It didn't look like it. Hmm. Well, who freaking knows? Oh, nice. Okay, actually, yeah, you can actually break that ability too, and that's gonna be another person thing. You gotta be able to break that. If you can't, like, break the ability where uh, you can get, get your health back, then, yeah, you definitely, uh, you might be in a bit of a pit All right. Come on, just one more. No! Oh, wait, sorry, never mind. I got confused. Got him. And we saved our friend. Uh-oh. Not quite ready to admit defeat yet. Oh, boy. Such incredible power. Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad. What is it, Kirby? Whoa, is that... Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar? Oh no, it's pulling Popstar through that huge vortex! It wants a rule to play with this one. I accidentally kind of skipped through the text. It's my bad about that. We have to stop it, but how? Hell yeah! Now we're becoming a truck. I almost completely forgot about this, if I'm being honest. Alright. Fuck no! Big rig now. Oh 
the hole. Still on that good footing. Maybe not. All the nerves are riding on, on this right now, man. All the nerves. Man, this is so hype. This is the one time we're playing again. This is so hype, man. This is just amazing. This is that feeling of finally doing it. Oh, yeah. What more have you got? Oh, oh, come on! Was that good enough? Look at this! Sweet! Well, folks, we've done it! That's it! Where are we now? We're back to Planet Popstar. But everything is, getting, is is falling apart. Everything is being sucked away. No! Hey Kirby, thanks for everything. No, why? Ah, look at Planet Pop Star. Still, what a tragic ending. But wait. And we got that hype song that uh, we just listened to at the start of the game. I would attempt to sing, but uh, in case you guys have not noticed, I'm kind of a horrible singer, so... Uh, I'll let you guys uh, sing along to it yourself. But anyway, I will make comments about the, this game out there. The, the credits are done, but first I'm going to let the credits roll first. So enjoy these.
Well, what can I say other than that? Other than that was just beautiful. Like honestly, I'm not joking here. That song really is amazing. To be continued. And that part right there is actually hinting at the fact that there's still a post-game thing to do. All right, but uh, yeah, as far as the main game is concerned, though, we're done. We are done with Kirby Never Gone Land in terms of the main game. We've officially gone for all six worlds and uh, uh, d d done each of the stages. This has been quite the wild ride, let me tell you. I've really enjoyed doing this playthrough. Now. With that being said, though, with that being said, we are still not done yet. There are still probably going to be at least, like, I want to say really thinking about it. Well, probably like five or six more videos of this playthrough. I'm going to go jump back into the uh, overworld. That way, I can kind of explain how things are going to work for the next few videos. Hey, look! Claw, Claw Reline is visiting our town. I don't want to, can, can never seem to pronounce that right. She looks a bit upset. Hmm. Ah, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? When things finally calmed down and the animals came to celebrate with us, Leongar was missing. I bet Claw Reline has been looking for him. She might have found something. We should ask her what's going on. So yeah, I've, I will go ahead and confess I've uh, not actually done like any of the uh, post game yet, but uh, I would not be surprised if that it just probably ties into it a little bit. In fact, actually, I'll go ahead and see what it's about right now. Is this another mysterious vortex? What you sense, Leongar somewhere in there? Oh boy. Wait, is this actually going to make me do the, uh... Hmm. Oh my gosh. This feeling, this is exactly how it felt when I was observed by my other half, Fecto Elphilus. It's possible that after that big battle, Lingard became trapped in this strange place. Come on, Kirby, we have to check it out. Okay, yeah, I think this is, uh where the post-game thing actually is. Yep. So that's what that was about. Yep, that was correct. So yeah, like I said, we'll definitely deal with that, uh... In, the, uh, in a future video, not this particular one, though. Because there's still a couple things I want to explain, so... Uh, I've been putting it off a little bit long enough now, so... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to it. So Let me explain how the rest of this uh, playthrough is going to work. So... Here's my plan for the rest of this playthrough before we really wrap things up. Now that we're officially done with the main part of the game, the next part is going to actually be another backtracking video, so I'm going to go go back and do what I usually do and get everything I missed in uh, Worlds 5 and 6. Just because, you know, even though we've technically been in the game, there is still some stuff in this world that I'd like to do, and so therefore I feel like it would be, be of my best interest to uh, really get all the remaining Waddle Dees. So, uh, that's what I'm going to be focusing on for part, uh, 18, is that uh, everything left in Worlds 5 and 6 that I, that I haven't gotten done yet. That'll be that video. Oh, I just not noticed I never even did this one well. But I'll be semi- that's okay, I can say that for the next video. So, yeah, that'll be part 18, is, uh, everything left in Worlds 5 and 6. For part 19, I'm going to be taking a look at the post-game content, specifically uh, 
the uh, the extra world that uh, we unlocked by beating the final main boss. Now, like I said, I have not actually touched that part of the game yet. I have no idea what to expect from the post game, so that'll be uh, one part of the playthrough which I'm going through completely blind. But uh, either way, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, it goes well. So yeah, that'll be part 19, and then part 20, I might be finishing off that post game world. It might like take like two videos. So yeah, that'll be that. And then for the rest of this playthrough, it's gonna be like extra content. So for part 21, I might show off like the boss coliseums. That way, uh, you guys uh, can see those and see like uh, the different challenges that come with that. So I might show like the boss coliseum and maybe a couple other random things. And then for part 22, I might it might just be like a relax and chill part. It might just be like a thing where I uh, kind of just go around and uh, show what's like what what like, like what's what the world and stuff. So yeah, because I do want to get this project done at a uh, good time, you probably are going to see uh, a good amount of videos released for it in the coming, uh, uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, so like for example, uh, I think next Friday I'm actually probably going to have like two videos of this game out as opposed to the fact that I usually have one. So that's something to keep in mind, I'm going to actually have like two videos of this game out uh, next Friday. And then the Friday after, I might either do two again, or I might even like upload the last three. I'm not sure yet. Or could I? Or I could even just like kind of like break my uh, little schedule a little bit and like maybe do a thing where like I, uh, you know, upload two videos on Friday and then the last one on Saturday or something. I really have no idea. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe maybe I could even just like you know spend that entire weekend that uh, not, not not next week but the week after the next. Uh, really just finishing things out because, uh, you know, there really is still, uh, you know, a few things that need to get done here, and, uh, you know, I don't just want to leave, you know, uh, any still unturned. And then, yeah, I think that'll really be about it, as far as, like, the rest of this playthrough is concerned. This was never supposed to be 100% playthrough, like I said before, um... Honestly, the fact that uh, I actually got as far as I did in terms of 100% uh, that I think is pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, even th even in this file, you can you guys can see right here I've got it at the 64%. So uh, I definitely really did not slack off too much here. But yeah, overall, I will say I'm pretty impressed with how this playthrough has turned out so far, so far overall. There, de there are definitely some frustrating moments here and there, and there, and there definitely was kind of a bit annoying. I will admit some parts where I kind of forgot about certain things, just because, like I said, this literally is my only, only my second full playthrough of the game. But, I mean, even still, I think everything has gone pretty well, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this, just enjoyed this playthrough, too. I am kind of sad that it is going to come to an end pretty soon, but at least in the meantime, uh, there, are there will still be a few things left to look forward to. So yeah, um, that's what you can expect, like I said, you know, uh, one more Bat Tracking video, two videos of the post-game stuff, and then, like I said, a, a final two or three videos for focusing on, like, extra miscellaneous content in this game, and then that'll be it for this playthrough. And with that, I think there's not really much more, more else to talk about. Like I said, guys, this has been a fun journey. I've really enjoyed doing this playthrough with you guys, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping, we can, I'm hoping we can finish things out on a good note. But with that in mind, uh, this is Nicky and Linus signing out. Have a good day, everybody.